Hi, it's Daniel Begun here for Hot Hardware, and today we're taking a look at Dell's small form factor Inspiron Xeno HD. The Xeno HD is perhaps one of the smallest full-featured PCs currently on the market, measuring 7.8 inches wide by 7.8 inches deep and only 3.4 inches high. Its small size and square footprint is reminiscent of the Shuttle X2700 or Apple's Mac Mini. You'll never confuse the Xeno HD and the Mac Mini, however. The Mac Mini is white and silver. The Xeno HD has an all-black chassis with a colorful, removable lid. It's perhaps these designer lids that are the hallmark of the Xeno HD's design. You can choose from 10 different designs that range from simple piano black to other solid colors like promise pink or tangerine orange, or colorful patterns like red swirls or blue lines. The solid color lids cost $15 each and the pattern lids are $30. If you wanted to, you could get a different lid for each day of the week or swap them out as your mood changes. Swapping out lids is as simple as popping the current lid off and then just snapping the replacement lid in place. You can even do this while the system is running. The base configuration of the Xeno HD starts at $249 without a monitor. While the base configuration is light in both performance and features, it offers a very competitive alternative to many of today's nettop PCs. As the Xeno HD is a configure to order system, it's possible to configure the system with enough components and options to jack the price up to almost $1,300, and that's without a monitor, speakers, or an extended warranty. The configuration that Dell sent us sells for $844 and includes a 1.5 GHz AMD Athlon X2 Dual Core 3250E processor, 4 GB of dual channel DDR2 SD RAM at 800 MHz, an ATI Radeon HD4330 GPU with 512 MB of dedicated memory, a 500 GB 7200 RPM SATA hard drive, an 8X DVD RW drive, an 802.11 BGN wireless card, a wireless keyboard and mouse, and a set of Bose stereo speakers which are a $110 option. We should also note that in addition to being able to buy the system direct from Dell.com, a number of preset configurations are also available on Amazon.com. On the front of the system, you'll find the optical drive tray, a headphone jack, two USB ports, and the 4-in-1 memory card reader. The back of the system is home to the power plug, VGA and HDMI outputs, two eSATA ports, two USB ports for a total of four, RJ45 gigabit ethernet port, mic and headphone jacks, and the lock slot. On the back, you'll also find the hard disk activity light and the mechanical release button for the lid. The system that Dell sent us came with a wireless keyboard and wireless laser mouse, a $75 option. The keyboard is larger in size than your average keyboard. As you can see here, it makes the system look even that much smaller. The keyboard features a number of dedicated function keys, multimedia keys, and a volume dial. In order to use the wireless keyboard and mouse, you need to install the wireless receiver in one of the system's four USB ports. Our system came with Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit installed, and it scored a Windows Experience rating of 4.1. The Windows Experience rating is determined by the lowest subscore, which in this case is the processor. The system had no trouble playing back high-definition video. Our 1080p Windows Media Video 9 clip, which has a bitrate of just over 9 megabits per second, played back with a CPU utilization that averaged around 50%. Our 1080p H.264 MOV clip, which has a bitrate of nearly 10 megabits per second, played back at a low average CPU utilization of about 10%. Finally, our Star Trek DVD, which you see playing here, which has a variable bitrate that goes above 9 megabits per second at times, has an average CPU utilization of roughly 25%. Arrival in Vulcan in 5 seconds. 4. Three, two, 
As the Xeno HD is a small form factor desktop, we didn't hold out much hope for its 3D gaming capabilities. We ran Enemy Territory Quake Wars at a resolution of 1024 by 768 with high quality settings, no AA and 8x AF, and we saw an average frame rate of about 33 to 34 frames per second. Well, nothing to get too excited about, this is a playable frame rate. Trouble is, most gamers want to play at a much higher resolution with all the eye candy cranked up, and that is simply beyond the capabilities of this little machine. The bottom line is that the Xeno HD should be able to play any number of 3D games, but at modest resolutions and with conservative graphics settings. That's it for our video spotlight of the Dell Inspiron Xeno HD. We hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this is Daniel Begun for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.